vaccination is a widespread and persistent health challenge in India. According to the World Health Organization and UNICEF in 2015, over 520 million practice open defecation in India, with the vast majority of open defecators living in rural areas. The highest number of open defecators in the world live in India. Research has shown that open defecation severely increases the risk of neonatal mortality, stunting and contraction of infectious diseases. To address the issue of open defecation, in 2014, the Government of India launched the Swachh Bharat Mission, a national cleanliness drive. An important objective of the Swachh Bharat Mission, or SPM, is to eliminate open defecation through the construction of individual, cluster and community toilets. SPM follows years of sanitation programming in India and it has resulted in an increase from 38% to 78% toilet coverage in the country. Although the number of latrines has increased, it is still a challenge to get people to use the latrine, especially in rural India. This is why a prime focus of the SBM and 3IE's evidence program is on behavior change to promote the adoption of safe sanitation throughout the country. I think open defecation in rural India is one of the biggest, most difficult, messy, wicked problems um, in our world. It's much harder to solve than sending a man to the moon. The old paradigm was constructing toilets. And we are very clear that this is about the behavior change in order to use toilets primarily. And so the question then is, how do, we, how do we promote usage? Supported by the Gates Foundation and in collaboration with the Research Institute for Compassionate Economics, 3 is funding a program to generate research evidence on effective interventions for promoting the use of toilets in rural India. We're drawing on behavioral science to design appropriate interventions. The use of behavior science actually quite complementary to the current emphasis that is on making sure that infrastructure is there. Uh, and now, as that progresses, it's important to make sure that the behavior also changes so that uh, people fully utilize the infrastructure that, that is being provided in order to achieve the uh, public health benefits that we, that we expect. There is limited research on effective approaches to promote latrine use in rural India. One challenge is that knowledge, attitudes and practices related to toilets can vary across the country. The second challenge is that as latrine use is very private behavior, it makes it hard to study. Through 3IE's latrine use program, we are trying to contribute to the government's efforts to promote the uptake of safe sanitation throughout the country. 3IE funded nine teams to carry out formative research in eight states in rural India. These teams used a diverse set of behavioral science-based approaches to address the problem of latrine use. Some teams focus their study on shifting social norms in a community which influence an individual's decision to use a latrine. Others tested approaches to reduce the anxiety around emptying a filled up latrine pit. After their field research, the teams generated several insights on different behavioral barriers to toilet use in rural India. People really overestimate the kind of rate at which a pit fills. So a pit that would actually fill in five to six years, people think it would actually fill in about a year's time. Part of that has to do with because the whole thing is happening underground, you don't really see what's going on and uh, they don't understand fully about how the decomposition happens. The whole idea of twin pits and how to reuse is not something they under understand very well. So all this leads to a lot of anxiety around the pit getting filled and therefore people tend to use it partially uh, in terms of either only men can sacrifice it for the women, the younger people can sacrifice it for the older people. So it results in a lot of uh, partial usage. There are a lot of misperceptions and a lot of flawed mental models um, that households who have toilets have about how the toilets work, how long they can be used for, what happens when a pit fills up. And so a lot of this is related to the very specific context in which we're having first-time users or potential users of toilets interacting with a very specific kind of toilet technology, which is the twin pit latrines that have been promoted by the government for rural areas under the Swachh Bharat mission. People don't have latrines. People who can, but don't use latrines, there were a number of barriers. So one being water not being available are hard to get. Um, another one for flushing and washing. People said the design was unsuitable for them. The other barriers were um, preference for OD, uh, open defecation, 
um, lack of awareness on how to actually use a latrine was another one, um, and perceptions that OD was healthier. The formative research also highlights how there is a perception in some Indian states that latrines are mainly for women and the elderly. The men prefer open defecation because it is seen as being masculine and more comfortable than using a latrine. The gender dynamics related to toilets has important implications for the kind of messages we reinforce to behavior change communication. Important finding was then whenever all men of a household use the latrine, the women of the household use it as well. We concluded that we have to target men in order to get the whole family. Jay selected four teams to carry out impact evaluations of the scaled-up versions of these pilot interventions. By the end of 2019, these studies will provide us with quality evidence on what really works or doesn't work to get people to give up open defecation. Through these evaluations, we hope to generate evidence that will help the government and NGOs design effective and context-specific sanitation interventions. And our goal is to get people to use latrines and give up on the unhealthy practice of open defecation. To know more about 3i's Promoting Latrine Use in Rural India program, please visit our website www.3iimpact.org.